from Houston. Velasquez defending the title against the man who took it from him in 2011. Junior Dos Santos defeated Velasquez with a first round knockout, becoming the champ. The second meeting between the two coming at UFC 155 last December, where Velasquez won a dominant decision to regain the title. Now here's a tale of the tape between the two. Dos Santos, two years younger, with a three inch height advantage over Velasquez. Dos Santos relies on his boxing skills while Velasquez's strength, well that lies on the mat. He's a grappler. The champion, 12 and one in his career, while Dos Santos is 16 and two. Let's now welcome in the UFC heavyweight champion, Kane Velasquez. And Kane, the first time you fought Junior Dos Santos, he caught you early in the first round, and that pretty much was it. Good night. So how did that loss motivate you? From it, you know, um, looking back in that fight, you kind of saw what, 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 what we, we could have done to, to be better. And the thing was, you know, our game plan. We have a game plan when you go in and kind of just implement it right away, not, not wait around for him. So that's what we learned from it. We took that on to our next fights, and, um, you know, we, we were able to get it back. Now, you talk about that game plan, implementing that plan of attack. In the second fight, the results, of course, much different due to that game plan. So what adjustments did you really make that helped you perform so much better the second time around? Um, you know, the, just that, that we're, that we're going to use our style of fighting, and that's going forward, a lot of pressure. Um, not, just, not just boxing with them or not just wrestling with them, but doing everything with them. You know, when he thinks that we're going to, that we're going to strike with him, we're going to, we're going to take shots, we're going to, we're going to go for takedowns. And then he, he thinks we're going to, we're going to take him down and wrestle with him. That's when we open up the, uh, the stand up, the, the, the striking. So never, always keep him guessing and, uh, keeping that pressure going forward. Now you make mention of taking big shots. Now, despite dominating the fight all five rounds last time, you weren't able to finish him off. So are you somewhat worried that he took your best shots and was still able to stand? That's fine, you know. Um, we're going to keep the same pressure going on. And, you know, if we have to do the same thing again and the fight doesn't get finished, well, then it, it doesn't get finished, you know. Um, I go in, into every fight thinking that it'll, it'll be a war. It'll, it'll be a fight that, that goes to a decision. That, for me, gets me ready. And if it happens again, I'll be ready. Now, after two fights, anything new you can bring to the cage Junior hasn't seen from you already? Any possible curveballs you're going to present to him? You know, just uh, just getting better. You know, looking at the at the film in the second fight, um, game plan needs to stay the same. I think. You know, our our pressure needs to stay the same. We're going to be in his face the whole time. But I think technically, being better than than we were in, in the uh, second fight. He's a student of the game, Kane Velasquez. Thanks a lot for your time and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Still to come, October baseball is all about pitching and timely hitting. That's been the case in the ALCS. We'll set the table for game.